Well, hello everyone. This is Everett Johnston, Master Plumber, author of Commercial Plumbing Maintenance. I hope you've read it. You've got to get it, Amazon.com. If you're in maintenance and you're uh, working in large buildings and, and small buildings, wherever, this is the book for you. Well, today we're going to talk about seepage pits. Now, they're called dry wells, they're called seepage pits, all kinds of different things. But I'm going to show you a style that you would use for, let's say, an addition to your house that you're like, okay, my sewer's out in the main street and I'm building this addition in the backyard. Well, what do I do? How do I get this done? Well, I can tell you, you can do it very simple as long as you don't add a toilet. Okay, so you don't want sewage water. So as long as it's gray water, like from a dishwasher, um, um, shower, a lavatory, a sink, a bar sink, you're okay. Even a urinal. So you could add a urinal, but you just can't add a toilet. Okay, so what you do is that you have to stay certain distances in the back or in the front, wherever you're putting it. Um, I wrote it down, and let's see. Here's the distances you want to do. You want to be 100 foot from any well. So if you're out in a farmhouse, you're out somewhere and you got a well, you got to stay 100 foot from that. Uh, 20 foot from any building. So you got to be at least 20 feet away from any structure. 10 foot from any lot line. So if your neighbor's close to you, make sure you're at least 10 foot away from them. That way they don't cause trouble and nobody gets in trouble. It's like, what are you doing? And blah, 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 blah. And the biggest thing is frost line. Okay, you can't add all this water under the ground and just two inches or six inches under the ground like they do a lot of these rainwater things like you see on these videos. You have to go below the frost line. In Colorado, it's four foot six, but we go five foot. So, with that said, you need to go five foot. But if you're adding an addition and stuff, I mean, it's not a problem. If you're adding just a little sink or something, you know, this is for a, a, an addition. So, this is to help you out. If you want to unlearn about that, that's great. There's a lot of videos and all this stuff, but uh, I'm just trying to make it easy. And there's, and the big, the other thing is, so you want to be below the frost line. And when you take the pipe out, you want to be a quarter inch per foot. So the size, just go four inches plastic. Four inch takes 260 fixture units right around there. So you can add all kinds of stuff on a four inch line, and it's cheap. I mean, plastic, PVC, ABS, but it's got to be solid pipe. Not this holes in it. We're not doing a leach field. We're not doing, we're doing a, 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 basically a gray water pit, okay, to take care of all this water that's coming from your addition. Now, let me just show you really simple on a quick drawing how to do this. I mean, it's really, it's just digging. Big thing is get a tractor or something else. Okay, so here is your pit, which you can buy plastic, okay, you can buy plastic pits. You can make this out of concrete, who cares? Okay, a plastic pit. Now what happens is you take this pit and you run it any, at any, well, high or low, wherever you wanna run it, because this is gonna be empty. This is where you're gonna dump your water into. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna go a quarter inch per foot to your house, you're the new addition, okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna stub into the house wherever you're gonna stub into. Um, you can run those lines all the way over to one little corner of the house and then you run it down a quarter inch per foot. So one quarter inch per foot. All right. And you want to stay at least 20 foot away from the building. So you got to stay 20 foot away and I would stay 20 foot from here away. So now once you get this dug out, remember this is going to be about five foot deep. Okay. And these pits, there, let's see, I looked them up. You can get a plastic, they call them drywall pits. And let's see, they're about $120 on uh, eBay. So, but this will only come so, so, so tall. You may have to buy two pits to take it up a little bit higher. So you get two pits, $120, that's $240. The pipe's probably another, what, 20 foot of pipe? You're talking 40 foot. So, you know, that's not much. And you're gonna have fabric. So when you put this pit in, you're going to put something on the bottom. They sell these plastic round things, or you could put rock, you could put brick. So when you put the pit in, I like to stay at least a foot away all the way. So you're going to, you're going to dig this hole, okay, like this. You're going to dig this hole this deep. You're going to go way deep when you dig your hole. 
So this is going to be a big hole. This is going to be five, probably five, six foot deep because this is five foot deep here. So you're going to go six foot deep to put the pit in. Then you're going to add two pits together and they're plastic. You just clip them together and there's a knockout. You knock it out and you put your pipe in, put it in about six inches in and you let it drip in there. So all the water that's from your, your, your sink, your dishwasher, whatever you add to your addition will go in here. And this is all three quarter rock. Well, you put this fabric over this. So you gotta put some fabric, okay? Some fabric all around this. That way this can leach out the water. It can be con ground water, but it leaches out and no rock dirt gets inside your pit. So you need to put some type of fabric here. They have all kinds of fabric. You know, they've got, uh, what do they call it here? Landscaping fabric, or there's a better fabric. And then you fill this all up with rock, okay? You fill it all up with rock. And on the very top, what do they call that? Uh, man, I looked that up. It's, it's basically a lid. So there's a lid that goes to the grass, the top of that, okay? And if you've got this, remember, this is, this is six foot, so you're gonna be on the very bottom and you're coming up. And, and so this could be, you put a piece of pipe to extend it, or you put, it's a cap, an extension cap with holes in it. So any water that comes to on your grass that's 20 foot away, that's out there, it'll also come in here and leach in. So you're making it a leach field, you're making it a drain field. You can even add your downspouts and your gutters into here if you wanted to. You know, you could tap them in into that four, that's why it's a four inch line, you can tap it all in there. Now, isn't that fun? Huh? Ooh. You could even make this out of brick. You could put brick. If you have extra brick around, if you have stone, I mean, all kinds of stuff. They call it a seepage pit. They call it dry well. I call it a way to use it for an, if you're building an addition. All right, now if you want to hire a plumber, it probably costs you about five grand. You got to get a tractor, you got to dig it out. Now you can rent a tractor to dig this out. I don't know if you know how to rent a tractor, but if you even hire a guy to do it, you're looking at $250 an hour. Okay, that's in Colorado. No, other places are more. So it's $1,000, what, $1,000 a day to dig this all out and taking four hours, you know, four hour minimum. So you can have it all dug out with a tractor, but then you got to backfill with your, you know, you're going to have to backfill it yourself. And then you're going to have a little bit of this dirt extra because you're going to put the pit, you're going to take the dirt out, and you're going to put rock. So you got to order rock too. Or you can pick up the rock if you got a truck. You can order the rock. Yeah, is it a little expensive for a homeowner? But man, it's cheaper than tapping back into that main sewer or going all the way around to the front to tie into your front sewer if you've got, you know, in the backyard, you're building an addition. So check it out, my friends. Uh, isn't that fun? Plumbing can be fun, man. It is fun. Plumbing is fun, can be. It is fun. Now, is it hard work? Can this be done? This can all be done in one day. If you have a tractor, you can go to Home Depot and run a tractor. It'll take you deep enough. I don't know what area you live in. Look at the frost line. Call the city in the morning, 7 o'clock. I'm going to talk to the inspector and say, Hey, man, what's the frost line out here? I don't know. I'm new to this city. He'll tell you. He'll or she, somebody. Normally, 7 o'clock, you get a hold of an inspector. 8 o'clock, forget about it. They're gone. They're, they're out there in the field. So get them early. Call early. Talk to the inspector. Uh, ask for the plumbing inspector. Now, this is EPA regulated and all that, and, and since you're not using sewage, and you're not using shit, it really is not going to give you any, any regulations. Your, your plumbing codes and all that, it's not going to affect any of that because you're just running, you're running regular water. So you're saving the environment. You're going green, and that's what my book's about. In here, I have a whole chapter of green, going green. I mean, it talks about chemicals, what not to use, what to use, why you shouldn't, and why you should, and blah, 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 blah. Buy the book, my friends. Learn. Learn, learn this plumbing stuff. Have fun. Bye.